Good evening. Henry Keogh, jailed 19 years ago for the drowning murder of his fiancée Anna Jane Cheney, is tonight a free man. After relentlessly proclaiming his innocence, his conviction had, has been overturned and he's home for Christmas for the first time in two decades. Live now to Ben Avery and Ben, high emotion at the Supreme Court today. Yeah, there sure was, Kate. Around 70 supporters crammed into a courtroom as Henry Keogh was granted bail at around 4 o'clock this afternoon. Then, minutes later, he emerged from the Supreme Court to an awaiting media pack desperate to capture this major moment in one of the state's most controversial murder cases. Nearly 20 years after the Supreme Court jailed him for murder... Keogh, how does it feel to be free? Great. Henry Keogh walks from the very same court a free and innocent man. On Friday, the Court of Criminal Appeal ruled jailing Henry Keogh in 1995 for drowning his fiancée Anna Jane Cheney in the bath of her McGill home was a miscarriage of justice. A retrial was ordered and today bail granted unopposed. Keogh has always denied he's a murderer and relentlessly pursued clemency through the courts, his brother putting emotions into words. Henry would like to express his gratitude to the judges of the Court of Criminal Appeal for handing down their judgment so quickly after the hearing of the appeal and in time for his release before Christmas so that he can spend this time with his family. Keogh's partner left court separately after signing crucial documents which freed the 58-year-old on $10,000 bail. His family and friends are delighted, delighted. A long time coming. Gordon Wood, who spent three years in jail before being acquitted of throwing Caroline Byrne to her death in Sydney, a strong supporter. It's now up to the DPP to decide the next chapter in the Keogh saga. And despite speculation by Keogh's supporters there wouldn't be a retrial, prosecutors today made moves to bring one on, setting a date for Keogh to once again answer the murder charge. It's been a, a wonderful end to a, a great day. Um, we've restored Henry Keogh to his family and uh, I hope he's going to have a nice relaxing time over the Christmas and New Year break. Kim Robertson, Nine News. Now, Henry Keogh's freedom does come with strict bail conditions. He is not to leave the state. He is tell to, to tell police every time he moves from house to house. And he is also not to have any contact with members of Anna Jane Cheney's family. Kate.